Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Well, we are looking currently at an air temperature of 68 degrees with a dew point of 67. We have an east wind coming in at about 5, and that east wind will continue to uh, help with our red tide uh, irritants in the air as well as fog, because that keeps the fog kind of out in the Gulf waters. As far as our current conditions go, well, across the nation, it is certainly chilly. We've got uh, 29 degrees in Minneapolis, 24 in Kansas City, 30 degrees in Dallas and across our region along the eastern seaboard, 18 degrees in Boston, 27 in Washington. Plenty cold enough across most of the nation. About three quarters of the nation below freezing this morning. Not so in Florida, though there certainly is a gradient between cooler temperatures to the north with 50 in Tallahassee, 47 in Jacksonville, 55 in Gainesville, and our warmer temperatures in the southern tip of the state. 74 Miami, 70 Naples, 70 Fort Myers. By the way, Fort Myers yesterday, the warmest spot in the country with 91 degrees, broke an all-time record. Uh, 69 degrees in uh, Parrish, uh, Wachula coming in at 68, Mayaca City at 69, and Sarasota comes in at 68. So we have a frontal boundary that is sinking south across the nation right now. High pressure, the dominant weather feature over most of the country. A northeast wind blowing pushes that front southward today, and it eventually just stalls out down to our south. As it stalls out to our south, it'll eventually wash away. But uh, as long as it's there, it's going to help produce a little bit of cloudiness. And so we'll deal with that cloudiness over the next couple of days. Northeast wind underneath of those clouds is going to provide us with slightly drier air. So eventually the drier air winds out, the front washes away, and we get more sunshine probably in the second half of the day tomorrow. But today, slightly cooler than we were yesterday, with temperatures maybe three or four degrees cooler. And lots of clouds around, yes, but only an isolated shower, maybe about a 10% chance of rainfall. We had some showers during the overnight tonight, last night. Uh, but as far as rain showers this morning goes, it's probably not going to have a whole lot. The frontal boundary producing a fair amount of cloudiness, as I mentioned, through the deep south back toward Texas. All of this cloudiness will eventually give way to a little bit more sunshine as we see some drier air trying to work its way into the forecast. That tan colorization there is dry air aloft, not necessarily at the surface, though there is some at the surface as well. That drier air aloft promises us a bit more sunshine for, I think, Wednesday, Thursday. Friday, we'll have another front move through here, but you'll hardly notice it. It just reinforces the drier air that's in place and uh, kind of ticks up the wind speeds just a little bit for Saturday, I think. A uh, few scattered showers in inland areas this morning are in the process of dissipating as we speak. I don't really see a big issue with those for us locally. We are dry across our region. Just watch for that patchy fog, especially around the mouth of Charlotte Harbor and in inland areas. Forecast calling for that northeast wind at about 15 knots, becoming lighter during the overnight period. And the forecast for the week ahead calls for mid-70s by later midweek. And then as we head into the weekend for Hanukkah and Christmas, we're looking at temperatures that are getting pretty close to the 80 degree mark. Back to you.